What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about what it is that makes video games important to me and uh, I also want to talk about some of the misconceptions of gaming that are usually out there in the media. You'll hear news outlets uh, speculating that playing video games is a detriment to your child's development. Uh, it's a detriment to society. You've heard many people over the last few years, especially with all these, uh, you know, rage shootings, uh, equating them with video games, saying that there's a link between video games and violence, and there's a link between, you know, uh, your development and, and video gaming, and video games can lead you to, you know, lose your mind and lose a grip of reality and go do something stupid and not focus on real life goals, all kinds of crazy shit. And I totally, totally disagree with that. You know, I'm a father of four. I played video games my whole life. I'm 35 years old, and I can't imagine life without them. You know, even at this point, I play at least at least one video game every day. You know, I play them on my lunch break. I play them when I'm at home. You know, when I'm not making videos, I'm playing a video game or watching something entertaining on TV. And so the same thing applies to my wife. My wife, you know, she's 25 years old. She plays a video game every single day. You know, lately she's been all over Dragon Age. She's been all over The Witcher 3. You know, uh, she's been in Destiny. To me, that's awesome. My kids, all four of them, play video games. I got a 13-year-old. Both of my boys are 13 right now. They're 11 months apart. But uh, I got a 13-year-old and one that'll be 14 in a few days. They play video games every day. They got all their own systems, and they've been doing that since they were old enough to hold a controller. Uh, you know, my daughter's four. You know, she has a 3DS and tablets and. You know, she has a Nintendo 64, she plays all these awesome games, and she loves playing them. And my two-year-old, she's getting ready to get her first console on her birthday, her first handheld. And so it's something that, that I've always enjoyed. It's always kept me out of trouble. You know, people have always asked me, why do you play video games? Why is it so, you know, why is it so important to you? It always kept me out of trouble. When my friends were out doing dumb shit when I was in middle school, I wasn't doing it because I wanted to go home and play a Ninja Gaiden trilogy or... Super Castlevania 4, or Metroid, or Star Fox, or Donkey Kong Country. I was playing these games, experimenting with the Sega CD. I wanted to see Sewer Shark, you know. I wanted to play Sonic CD. I wanted to play these games. I didn't want to be out there. And who knows, the social aspect may have been good for me. It may have. But I don't think I missed out on anything because I'm a very social person. Look what I do. I talk to you guys on YouTube every day, and, and I think I'm a pretty cool guy. <laughs> you know, I like to think that. So... And I always did well in school, you know, I always had good grades, I was, you know, voted most social and most, most likely to succeed, all this stuff in school. My wife, you know, same same situation in school, very uh, attentive and worked really hard, had really good grades. And we're gamers, you know, she was a gamer before she met me, and so now my kids are knee deep into it. My son is 13 years old, his birthday will be in a few days on June 2nd, and he, um, he, uh, just made the, the honor roll, the eighth grade honor roll. He's always had good grades, but I wanted to talk about that a little bit. His name's Brett, and uh, he's my junior, and he just made the honor roll. And you know, I was there and, and really enjoyed this little ceremony they had at his school here in Georgia. And uh, he also made a very prestigious award, one of six children in the whole school, uh, and it was the best overall student. And he plays video games. And, uh, you know, he's a, a team counselor at his school where if kids do something, you know, questionable or bad, he can go and talk to them in a confined space and talk them down from being, you know, negative or tell them why, you know, making a poor decision can hurt them in the future. And he's a leader, you know, and, and a lot of kids that age are not like that. You know, he's a very, very positive and focused and driven individual. He's 13 years old. And he plays video games, you know, he has his Vita with him all the time and his 3DS with him all the time or he's playing on his PS3 or his 360, he's constantly playing video games, he does all his homework, he's a very respectful child, he's very intelligent, he's articulate, but he's a gamer and, and he's excelling past students that are already doing very, very well in a very prestigious part of Georgia. You know, he goes to school in Fairburn, Georgia and, and these are very intelligent families who bring their children out there for a good education and my gamer son is, is doing you know doing big things and I'm really proud of him and this video is dedicated to my son this video is dedicated to you son I know you're gonna watch this as a father I'm very proud of you I'm very proud that you uh, have uh, kicked 
the stereotype of what a gamer is. You know, you're you're intelligent, you're articulate, you're thoughtful. You play video games every single day, and you're good at them. And uh, you're making your dad proud in the world. And I'm really excited to see what you do in high school the next four years. And this video is for you guys too. You know, if you guys are out there in middle school, high school, and you're playing video games. There is no stereotype for you. You are who you are. You excel at being you. You be the best you you can be. Uh, you know, you focus on making good decisions that will affect you for the rest of your life. Because whether whether or not you know it, everything you do is going to affect you. It's, it's culminating the person that, person that you're going to be. And so, especially if you're a youngster in school and you play video games to escape the, the, the uh, rigmarole of life, play them. Enjoy them. But when you're in life and when you're functioning in real society, you focus and do the best that you can and, and treat people with respect and kindness and, and, and do be the best you you can be. I'm really uh, happy and proud of my son uh, for making the honor roll again and, uh, you know, being voted, you know, uh, the best overall student, one of six. He was the only guy uh, out of six students. The other five were female, but he was the only one. Uh, for best overall student and as a dad that really makes you proud and it seems just like yesterday I was in school myself and now look at me and you know, I got a son doing that I hope you guys are doing well in school you know don't come straight home from from school and jump on YouTube do your work I hope you guys enjoy your summer and enjoy this video game footage because I made this just for you I hope you guys enjoy it give a thumbs up and show some support for the channel and if you're new to the channel subscribe I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time Man, I can't go on like this. I'll fix you up. Shit, that was close. Cover me. Gotta patch up. <laughs> 